Hey guys, it's Jamie here and today we're going to use these little tins as a presentation case for this accordion style journal. I've done this prototype with a fold over and a tie but the future ones I'm not doing the fold over. These are the papers that have been used from the December Christmas Club. First thing you need to know is the tin size. If you're using the tin, you don't need to use the tin, of course. These are from Amazon, so readily available. And in centimetres, they're six centimetres across, nine and a half in length. And in inches, that is two and a half inches across and three and three quarter inches in length. From one piece of A4 or your US letter size, you can actually make two journals. We want it to fit easily in the tin. So the first strip we're going to cut will be five and a half centimeters across, nine centimeters down, which in inches is going to be three and a half inches in length and two inches or perhaps two and a quarter across. We will be folding this way. So when we talk about length, we're looking at this and then the across we're going to be scoring. Once you have your length cut, the next thing is to score at the width that you want to do the accordion at. So that was five and a half centimetres. Then the next score mark, I'm using centimetres obviously, will be half and then five takes you to 11. From 11, we're doing five, which will take you to 16 and then the half. From the 16 and a half, we're going half and then five. We've got five, which would take you to 27 plus the half. So now it's scored in. We do an accordion style fold, which is over one way. Burnish it down, then back in on itself. Burnish it down and we're going to come over again, in on itself. And this is the spare that's going to be cut off this time. Check how that now folds. So that is now the front of the journal and it would fold out that way. Well, I'm going to look at this top and just take a sliver off to make sure that everything's lining up nicely very gently with a sharp craft knife start to cut through those edges turn it around i chose to round off all my corners you don't have to do that if you don't want to i used the 10 millimeter just under half an inch if you don't have millimeters on your corner rounder we have a rounded cornered accordion. The next thing I've done is to print up this sheet of mini journal pages. These will not be going on every side. We'll be putting one on every other page. These papers are not going to be quite large enough to create what I think is a reasonable border. I think that border will be too big. So I'm going to take some of the other papers, create a border and then a border again. Want this border to only be a little bit smaller than the base page. Okay, and then if you round those ones off, have a look when those have been rounded off as well. makes for a neater 
border there and then this will sit inside of that. That makes our journaling space and I may actually round that off as well. I didn't on my prototype. That will then sit there and that is a journaling page. Now on the next page it would be a decorated page so we still want a large backing like this one but we don't want this paper. Initially we're going to cut enough backings to do the whole journal then we're going to cut enough journal papers to do every other page. Now I have the pieces cut up the next thing I'm going to do is distress the edges I'm going to place one on top of the other I will use the art glitter glue any piece that's going to be purely decorative like that's the front cover i am going to put some spray and shine on however the journal pages i'm not doing that because obviously you want to write on them that would be the front cover so that would be the first journaling spot we're going to take that piece and glue it inside of there. This one would be decorative. So the next one that's going to be a journal page is this one. And so you continue alternating, leaving one blank because we'll be doing decorative pages in a minute. For decorating the other pages, we've got two sheets here, some with Tim Holtz style people, Christmas trees, teddy bears, that type of thing. And the other one with tags, belly bands and small cards. So, for example, we could put three things together. You don't want to overcomplicate it because it's a small mini journal and you could put some layering on. with one of the figures and create a neat little collage. Let's put this one together now. So red, green, background. We've got part of the belly band here. And then under that we can tuck the tiny tag that's been cut out, the twine and it's been stained on the back and everything's been stained around the edges. How cool is that side looking? pretty cool right so that's our front cover so we're leaving that one we only have two more to decorate okay we'll go with something along those lines if we can find a pocket that one of the little tags fits into the last page, a bit more layering, this time a small pocket. Tiny little tag we can put in there. We could actually put those three all together. We could actually put another one in. The one solo figure looked a little bit out of place when you opened it up because there weren't any others. So I've added a couple more and also one to the what will be the front cover. So there'll be four in the book altogether and I'm hoping that helps balance out those figures. I'm not convinced about having them in this but they're there now. And the other thing that needs to be done is to create the collage or whatever you're going to decorate the tin with it is a slightly bigger measurement than the booklet i will cut some pieces out and we will look at that in a minute as well these have all been measured to fit onto the tin top and i'm going to put them together as one whole piece first here we have my spray and shine by crafters companion I absolutely adore this stuff. I'm going to give it a good blast 
and when that dries, which does take some time, it will dry glossy and protected. These are now dry and ready to glue into place. This one, it's straightforward. We're just making it the front of our little mini journal. To tie this one up, just a piece of this Christmas looking twine. I'm gonna leave it like that. It's not the neatest looking bow in the world, is it? A couple of things to do. I want to add this as a tag. I'm gonna go down from there and punch a hole around there. Piece of twine for this one. I'm going to use a bit of the all-purpose glue few seconds to dry because this is going to be going on a black tin top and I just want to make sure it opens the correct way we want to fudge those borders a bit stays on ink in black we'll be edging around it the next thing I'm going to do is use the all-purpose glue again We need to place this down, burnish it. Getting the big, I think they're called bulldog clips, I'm not sure. Get along as much of the edges as you can. And let that rest for a minute or two, not very long is needed. And that of course will be going in there. How cute.